In this video, we're going to use some EFT tapping to help support you and process some of the painful emotions that can be there if you feel like you've screwed up a relationship, or perhaps you've just definitely done some things that caused a relationship, whatever type it might be, to go south. So we're going to support you with the emotions. I'm never coming from the place of, okay, do this and it will fix the relationship or it will get them back. You know, people have the right to respond to us how they how they will and how they do. I don't believe in us working on ourselves to make other people do things, but we do want to let go of some of the suffering and learn from our experience and be able to grow and move forward. So that's where I'm coming from with this and I hope it helps you. So let's repeat after me. Say even though I screwed up this relationship. And this is really painful to look at. I'm open to the possibility that I can move forward and maybe even have some appreciation that I'm willing to admit this and grow from this. And even though I feel like I've screwed up the relationship, or perhaps I objectively did through certain behaviors or actions. And I might not feel as though I can repair this. I am open to the possibility of learning and growing and allowing myself to not hold on and suffer about this in a chronic, ongoing way. And even though I screwed up the relationship and I feel bad about it, I might feel guilt or shame or embarrassment and this is tough, but I am open to the possibility that I can have some compassion for myself because in doing so, I can help get to the root of what actually is driving the behavior that I did not or do not want so that I can process, so that I can grow and change. And constant beating myself up is not the best path for that. Okay, let's go through the points now. Say, I screwed up this relationship. I messed it up. Those things I did Maybe it's things I said, and I regret it. If I didn't regret it, I wouldn't be doing this process. And maybe it never has felt right to just quote unquote, forgive myself, or just try to let go of it or move on. And I'm giving myself the opportunity to really give space to feel what I need to feel about this. Perhaps what I need to grieve about this. Perhaps the pain and frustration of what can seem cruel about life at times. That we can't really go back and not do what we did. And I'm letting myself have the feelings. But I'm also open that I can feel this in order to process it. And in doing so, 
give myself the opportunity to not only learn from this, by allowing myself to be curious, what's actually going on in me? What might need some deeper investigation? What are some past experiences or beliefs about myself or others or the world that may have driven me to do something that deep down at my core I don't actually want to be doing. I don't want to be doing the things that screwed this up. And so not only for further uh, healing and investigation, but in processing this, it's not just about letting myself off the hook. As I allow myself to feel and move through the fog of my guilt and shame, there might be some things I become able to see more clearly about things that might be possible to actually help the cause. There might be some things I should say or do in my own evaluation. There might be some things that can help um, right certain aspects or even properly apologize. Not that in doing so, I am entitled to anything from the other person, but just for my own resolution and clarity that I will have done and said whatever I feel needs to be in order to give proper acknowledgement or help bring closure on my part. I'm allowing myself to be open to whatever internal and external elements need to be seen more clearly, to be felt, let go of, examined, as well as any actions that might help, that I will be able to actually do or see as I move through things internally. And whatever I need to do to further process this, I may need to actually grieve the loss of the relationship. And that's valid if it's necessary. And open to having some compassion and supporting myself in this process. Because even if I can't undo the past, this is a path to actually grow and change from it. And perhaps I don't know with 100% certainty that the situation is irreconcilable. In some cases it may be. But I don't want to be assuming or believing it is. 
if I don't know that for a fact, and allowing myself to do the work on my part, which starts with this compassion and openness with myself, so that I can actually move forward and actually grow. And at worst, I will only learn and grow. But perhaps there could also be a shift in the dynamic, even if it takes time. So allowing myself to let go of what's holding me back from moving forward, whatever that means, and healing and learning and growing in whatever way is possible from this experience. Because even if I've made a mistake, I still deserve the ability to grow and learn and atone. just as I would want to grant that to someone I care about who might make a mistake. Permission to grant myself the same grace and to move forward in the way that's best for me. Okay, let's take a breath. Yeah, let me know how that was for you. I hope it helped. That can bring up a lot of things, and of course, not knowing your specific situation. There could be a lot of nuances with this. If you do want to work together one-on-one, -on -one, I do have a group call that meets every week, as well as do one-on-ones. You can see info on that below. But uh, let me know in the comments if you know there's any avenues you want to explore with the video, different subjects, uh, thoughts. I'm always open and appreciative. So thanks so much for doing this. Thanks for doing this work on yourself. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. All right, take care.